This is the most common question I get from my audience regarding automation. Zapier versus Make.com. What's the best tool to build automations? And today, I'm gonna answer it for you. Let's get started. Before starting with the video, if you don't know me, I'm Alex. Um, I have an automation agency and I help other companies, other business owners to automate their processes using custom automations, custom scripts, and custom AI models. So if you're looking to automate your process, click on the link down below so we can get on a call and I can show you how I can help you scale your company with automations. Okay, so now back to the video. So this is one of the most common questions I get. I think I get I get this question almost every day from my audience in terms of what's the best to to automate your process, Zapier or Make. These are probably the most uh, well-known tool on the no-code automation space. Of course, Zapier probably was the first one on the market and it's the more popular, I would say. But Make started to really grow this past couple of years and now it's becoming really popular as well. But they are very different between each other, right? So what's the best tool for you? So let's start the comparison. Zapier with Make, what's the best tool for you? So it all depends on your stage with automation. If you are just starting out, if you don't, you are not familiar with automation, you are just using some tools like a project management tool, a communication tool, or a CRM. So you're, if you're just starting out, I would say that Zapier is probably the best one for you. Why is that? First of all, Zapier is a lot easier and simpler to get started. So you can quickly and easier go and build your first automation connecting one tool with another one. So it's very easy to get started. So you can start seeing the value of automation. So you can start seeing the automations running for your processes. The second reason is that Zapier it was the first no-code automation tool on the market and now is the one that has more connected apps. So their apps portfolio, apps marketplace is bigger than any other two on the market today. So if you are using a popular tool to do any kind of process or task inside your company, greater chance that they have connection with say directly. So you don't have to use any API documentation, you can connect directly to your Zapier account. So that's the second reason I definitely choose Zapier to get started. But if you are thinking of taking your current automation suit to the next level, or maybe you are thinking about building some more complex automations, I would definitely go with make.com. With make.com, you can create very, very complex automations with many, many different modules. A module is a connection with an app, is an action on the whole automation process. So you can create an automation with 10, 100, more than a thousand different actions in just one scenario, in just one automation. With Zapier, you can't do that. So with Make, you can really take your systems to the next level, you really can build complex automations. And of course, with Make, I feel that it's much more easier to connect with APIs, with webhooks, and with other third-party apps and documentation. So if you are thinking about doing automations, creating systems, connecting with other apps with other systems using APIs, for example, I would definitely go with Make. And another reason to choose Make is it's cheaper than Zapier. Zapier is more expensive than um, Make.com. Make.com, you can start, of course, with a free plan, but you can start slowly scaling your automations with much more cheap um, plans than Zapier. Zapier is way more expensive. So if you're scaling your automations, if you are starting to build more systems, 
it can get very expensive with Sapir. But so in a nutshell, if you're just starting out, if you're just building your first automation, if you're connecting just a few tools and with not a lot of different actions, go with Sapir. You can get a lot done a lot faster. But if you want to really take your automation seriously, if you want to take your system to the next level, and if you want to start building complex automations for your company, go with make.com. And also it will be a lot more scalable because it's a lot cheaper than Zapier. When I got started with automation in 2017, I got started with Zapier as almost everyone on this space. And Zapier was a great tool for me to get started, to really start to know more about automation. But then once you start to getting more skills on this space, or you start to get more skills around automation, then it definitely makes sense for you to migrate to, to make.com. Zapier is great. It's, um, I have a huge respect uh, for Make because Make really made automations very well known on the market and it was very important for me to really get started with automation. But anyway, like today, just so you have an idea, I run more than 100,000 operations a day across all my systems, all my automations for every client, for like all my clients combined. And I guess only like 5% of those operations are on Zapier. Most of them are on Make. I have custom Python scripts. I have AI models. I use other tools as well. Um, but anyways, like combining different tools, it's a lot easier on Make than with Zapier as well. So I usually use Make as my, my main hub, connecting to the custom Python script, to AI models, to APIs, to webhooks. So it's a lot easier. And also like just another thing here, I think it's a, it's a matter of personal choice, but I think like the interface of make.com, it's a lot easier um, to build complex automations, the way that they structure their, um, their system, they, their UX, so you can connect the different actions and keep building like complex systems, complex automation. I think it's a lot easier to do that than all with um, Zapier. Zapier, I think it's faster to do like one line automation as I, as I mentioned before. So anyways, if you are just signing out, go with Zapier. If you want to build complex automations, go with make.com. Hope this video helped you understand the main difference between Zapier and make.com. Of course, that there are a lot of many different aspects between the two platforms, but just to make it very simple for you to understand uh, which which tools should you choose um, in order to get started with automation? As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Feel free to reach to reach out to me. And if you want uh, to have a full Make.com tutorial, click on this uh, video here where I go to explain you how Make.com works. Thank you.